effectiveness is in one way a bit more difficult in this sector compared to health or education and so on. I mean, each sector has its, its complexities if you want to reform. Uh, but looking at the, the, the just and security sector, you have a lot of different actors within the government. It's not the health ministry and so on. It, it's, it's several ministries, there are several agencies, and of course there is the sensitivity of the theme in itself, security policies and so on, uh, and of course also justice. So you need to take into account that that's a challenge to, to start with. And I think the pitfall has been that in many countries where, where I visited and made studies and so on, we see that, and reading colleague studies, we see that there are a lot of particular investments, many times in technical projects, but there is a low degree of national ownership. And, and, and so that could be caused partly of this fragmentation of the sector. And then we come back to the original idea of the APRA and Paris process that if you're supposed to align with the, with the, the country where you work, uh, there really need to be something to align around or with. So uh, as stated in the OCD that guidelines on working in fragile states, uh, I think you need to work on uh, and support national, key national actors to at least have a minimum vision of what kind of justice and security sector they want to have. If you get that minimum vision, it's much easier to align different initiatives. So that's kind of the minimum level uh, at a more abstract political level. Of course, it's even much better if you have, uh, uh, like you have with the poverty reduction strategies, the idea that you have a national consensus, at least minimally a political consensus between the political parties on uh, a national strategy for security sector reform because that means that change hopefully has a better chance to transcend one government to another. But that is not really enough because we see in many countries and we've seen also in Honduras that still each donor has its specific focus. So it comes back to the need for the donors to unite in one group many times a technical political group and see in what way they can align with national policies. And if there are no national policies, I believe that one thing they should focus on is supporting the creation of such a national policy.